All right, Mike Giddens with Immersive Shooter, and we're going to do a little walkthrough of how to stabilize your Equa rectangular footage using the built-in tools and plugins um, available with Adobe Creative Cloud 2018. And this is going to help turn your shaky 360 videos into something useful. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and first step, import a video file. So we have uh, this one, we're going to go uh, file, import file, or you can just drag it right into this browser. With this video file, we're going to create a new composition. And let's go ahead and save our file right now. Um, and from here, you can rename your composition just to make it a little clearer and differentiate it from your video footage. But you can see there's a uh, composition icon here and we can see uh, the extension of the video file right there. Um, we are going to go and open up our VR comp editor. So in previous versions, uh, this used to be called Skybox Composer, uh, but with uh, immersive and VR tools built into Creative Cloud 2018, in After Effects, it's now called VR Comp Editor. So we will open that up. In our VR Comp Editor window, we are going to add a 3D edit. Um, in this little pop-up, we are going to match our composition width so we can see our footage is uh, 3840 by 1920, 3840 being our width. Uh, so we are going to change it from the default to 3840. I'm going to select I am using 3D plugins and add edit. And we can see in our comp editor that our edit one has shown up here. And we're going to go ahead and click properties. So this next step is quite resource heavy on your system. So I'd recommend at this point saving again. And also closing down any other programs you have running, especially uh, if you have any Adobe programs like Media Encoder or Premiere also running, just close those down before you do this step. Um, and we're going to select Apply After Effects 3D Camera Tracker. And we're going to see uh, pop up here, Analyzing in Background, step one of two. And we can check on the progress of this by selecting effect controls. And you can see here it's initializing. And now it's starting uh, on frame four of 2,608. Um, so this is step one of two. Uh, step two of two is solving for camera. So after it is done analyzing the footage, it's going to solve for camera. And then this process of adding the 3D camera tracker will be done. Um, depending on your computer and your file size, it might take a while. This is a minute 27 MP4 and it's going to take about 40 minutes. So we're going to let this process and then we'll uh, jump back in when it's done. All right, so our footage is done analyzing and solving. You can see we have processed 2,608 frames. So under uh, our effect controls here, we are going to create camera. And we are going to open up our VR comp editor again. So now with our uh, 3D camera data and creating a camera, you can see our tracking points here. Um, and that's how you know it. it has analyzed the footage and seen where movement is in every frame of this video clip. So now we're going to select properties and stabilize footage. And you can see added here are uh, some stabilization points for our uh, X, Y, and Z axes. And then we're going to select our composition. And in our VR Comp Editor window, we're going to open Output Render. And now this is going to create a, uh, a new timeline with one 
item, which is our VR conversion. I'll go ahead and scroll through here and we can see that our composition is no longer waving in the wind. Um, now, while well, this process will stabilize your footage, it doesn't keep in mind the horizon um, or the composition of the shot. So if you find that it is tilted now, you'll have to go into effect, um, into our immersive video tools, and rotate sphere, and then just straighten it out. Now with our stabilized uh, footage here, we are going to output it. Export. Uh, select your video codec of choice. We're going to go with QuickTime. And render away. Now we're going to check out our uh, stabilized footage. This is the original. You can see it uh, wobbling up there. Uh, now this is shot on a, a Z cam with a nodal ninja tripod. But I mean, throwing a camera up 15 or 18 feet in the air with some coastal winds blowing, it's going to be a little wobbly anyway. And now you can see it stabilized and locked down. Uh, so this same technique can be used for more severe, shaky footage, uh, say handheld walking or uh, in a kind of a selfie sick pole. Um, but the times I've used it has been for this exact use case where it's been uh, shaky due to some coastal winds and it's worked like a charm. So hope you found this helpful and you can now stabilize your own 360 footage. Thanks for watching.